Hello guys, welcome back to the beginning of what I hope to be a glorious Let's Play. Um, this is a server and hopefully I'll be joined by many many different people. But to get things rolling I've been working really hard. I've made a 9 by 9 map wall. Each map's 128 blocks. So you do the math. But I found a couple of villages along the way. I did a little bit of trading in one of them. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I've done. I've got a few little farms, a reed farm, cow farm, wheat farm, a melon farm. We're playing on, I would say ultra hardcore, but when you die you respawn, so um, let's just call it ultra hard. I'm playing on ultra hard, I don't regenerate health unless I eat a golden apple or some potions. And as you can see, I've been to the Never. I've uh, accumulated a few diamonds, not too many. And here is another map which I made. One hell of a map. It's actually bigger than the map outside, but never. Mind. So I've got a few supplies, a few potions and stuff. Not really got too much stuff yet. Um, a few farming, a few farming things, some blocks. This is eggs, so I made a chicken farm. I went to the Never Fortress and I found quite a few horse armors and stuff. Found lots of things. So we got a, sp a special record. Um, all the rest of the records we found in one zombie dungeon. As you can see, I've been I've been playing for a while before I've made this video. Just kind of getting established. I've got a tool chest. Um, I started off with this fishing rod, and I ended up with well fishing these ones out. I fished this bow out, power three infinity one, which is really cool. There's some wood. As you can see, I'm kind of poor at the moment. Six diamonds you know, not too many other stuff, and cows are quite noisy and doing my head in, yep. so I think what, what I wanted to do, um, which I will, I've got a couple of donkeys which I found along the way, I did find lots and lots of horses, so many horses in fact. All different colours, white ones, grey ones, black ones, brown ones, you name it, I found them. I didn't bring any back because it really was just exploring. But donkeys, on the other hand, they're very useful. So I thought I'd snag one. So I've marked out this area up here. It was uh, two layers higher. Pretty much the same pattern, step hill. Just the same as all the rest of the hills around here. But I'm going to build a kind of lookout tower um, so I can look out at my map I mean these farms are temporary for now I'm going to make something much better but you spawn just over there around that kind of area make a little diving board um, so yeah this is the server um, my hopes my hopes are I'm going to have guests come and join me on the server um, and I'm going to try and get each one to build to build a little project with me in each square of this map. So we've got 81 squares. I'm going to obviously build in one of them. So that's potentially 80 guests. Um, yeah, my computer's not too great. So <laughs> hopefully with Skype and everything else running, it doesn't cause me too much lag. And I should hopefully, st well, I will record, but you know, you know how it goes. It might get a little bit laggy here and there. So yeah, I'm quite excited about starting this. Um, whoop. Oh my days! Lucky I have Infinity Bay. Um, yeah, I've been making a profit on arrows. I think I had 20 odd arrows, killed a lot of skeletons in the meantime, with this infinity bow, I've repaired it once, normally kills things with two hits, but this guy's, he's 
he's got some armor on, so he's a bit tougher. But creepers, no problem, not even too full power. As you can see, look, 1.7. What does that mean? It means the biomes have changed and they have snow on the top. Start, I can't remember the exact calculations, but everything has a, a temperature rating now in the biomes. And as you get higher, it gets colder. <laughs> Baby. And a spider. Would be interesting. As I don't regenerate. Uh, get this sword out, you fool. Ah, before. Hey! Thanks, creeper. Sounded like two, to be honest. Before I started, I just quickly made some iron armor and put a level 1 enchant on it. So, I'm not in too bad shape, really. Got no healing potions on me, so I don't want to die up here. But 1.7, what does that mean? We were talking about the temperatures. temperatures. So, low down there, at sea level, 63, 60, 64, I think it is anyway. 63 is the water but as you get up to about 80 or 90 we're on 84 here we've got any blocks we don't yeah we're just taking <laughs> um i am an op on the server so i can i can cheat I'm, I'm gonna try not to cheat but I do want to demonstrate um, temperatures for you. <laughs> Call that. Okay, so I'll set it to rain. Um, if you're wondering what all this this writing is here, we can see I have a death counter, and I was setting that up. So you see here we are. If I put my F3 up at level 84, and we are standing in the rain. As we get higher, um, <laughs> maybe I'll be proved to be a liar. There we go. I mean, we're at 101 now, and it's started to snow. I think this is uh, the same for all biomes now. So as you get higher, because because the temperature of the, the biome there is probably a different temperature to the biome over there. The height at which the snow turns into rain or the rain turns into snow is slightly different. That's a cool new feature. But what does that mean for biomes? It means that the tiger biomes let's just uh, set this back to clear. The tiger biomes are no longer covered in snow. It, it doesn't snow down unless of course you go up high. But there's uh, a few new biomes, some pretty cool ones. There's, you know, obviously everyone's seen the mesas and the the ice spike biomes. Um, I, I'm kind of liking the roof forest, that's pretty cool. The birch forest, that's pretty cool. I've got one right there. You know, it looks it looks better that way, like a almost like a man-made forest. Hey, where are you moving? <laughs> As uh, B Dub says, I'm trying to walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. Generic B, sorry, generic B. And there was a witch over there. I just want to pop an arrow into her. Oops. Nope. There. Yeah. That'll get her. So yeah, witches, that's another... Ooh, where did you lot come from? Ooh. first episode. Oop. 
you wonder why the Endermen stop attacking me, I've got flame on my sword. And they don't like flame. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, with 1.7, the witches now spawn randomly like all the rest of the mobs. I think, you know, they still spawn at the the witch huts. Where did you go? They still spawn at the witch huts. As you would expect them to be, Mr. Skeleton. But it just makes it a little bit more interesting now because they can spawn anywhere. As you saw, one spawned just over there. Oops. Shot myself in the leg. <laughs> and what did she drop? If she dropped anything? I don't know. I forgot where I killed her. Just pick up some XP balls. Um, now there's one thing I was wondering. Do witches burn up in the sun? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't. Uh, not about zombies and skeletons. But I think they say the chances of a witch spawning is about the same as an enderman spawning. It's a quite high chance, in my opinion. Compared to how rare they were before, you, you know, you never... S uh. Wow. Certainly not a sniper. Um, I would blame it on being a little bit laggy, but... <laughs> As you can you can see my shots ain't great anyway. So that's it for episode one. Oops. As you see I'm still making a profit on the photos. Getting skins. Still got my sixty four, ten extras. So I'll be saving them up. This I've had F3 on the whole time, I am sorry about that. I can measure my fourteen frames per second. So the plan is, I'm going to build a tower, a lookout tower on the top of that mountain up there. Just up there, looking out over the land. And then I'm going to venture off somewhere in this map. Um, if you can see our green dots just there. The amount of trouble I had making this. It's a nightmare. A creeper came along, if you wonder why it's raised off the floor, and got me while I was watching, looking on the map. And it blew all the maps off the wall. Or at least that's what I think happened, I don't know, they just all fell off. I'm assuming it was a creeper. But if you have a look, you can see the little farms. This is where the lookout tower is going to be. And over here is zero, 0 where I've built my nether portal. I built it there because then, whenever I'm in the nether, if I get lost while looking for a nether fortress or ghasts or whatever, I know, head back to zero zero and I can find my portal. Never ever get lost again in the nether. And from there I'm going to branch out and build other nether portals. Um, there's a little duck island there. I mean, this is it's quite a nice map. Uh, just down under here quite a way further actually, probably three or four maps worth down. It starts to go into a savannah, so I'm going to head down that way one day. Not quite here, we've got a roof forest there. Right at the top, just up there, we've got the beginnings of a jungle. You know, we've got the birch forest down here. I think this is birch forest over here as well. We've got a swamp in the middle. Um. So yeah, the small village, a bigger village. I like the way that village looks on the map. <laughs> kind of like a windmill. Um, I don't want to build too close to the villages because I like to keep the villages alive. And I know how much of a derp I can be. I'll, I'll end up getting them all murdered if I get too close. So I made a a proper dirt hole. <laughs> proper dirt hole. Of 
another base. Um, I'll be able to strip mine down there. I don't want to see that. It's just, just lines. Lines, lines, lines. So I wanted to, just to get my health back up to, to something reasonable. Uh. <laughs> I'm so glad that happened on camera. Wow. Thanks, Creeper. Did I have them on me the whole time? I don't know. Put them back. Yep, it broke everything. It broke everything. And kids, this is why you should light up your area. Because otherwise, Mr. Creeper will come and ruin your day. Uh, what did I actually pick back up? Eight books, my map, my frame. Well, my frame didn't come off the wall. Uh, I told you about this map, didn't I? It's just. I think our map comes just under there just around there so this is just maybe two or three maps wider and just under here is the savannah we will go and check that out okay well I'm gonna I don't even know if there's any point for me to repair this base well my enchanting table not really my base because we're gonna venture off and start building something half decent I'm gonna get some good redstone stuff built I do like a bit of automation I like stupid cows I like a good furnace array um, I have eight there but they're not automated you know it's we want to get some minecart rails let's get away from them cows I should just turn them down <laughs> come on melon farm so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it um, <laughs> if you if you enjoyed it please leave a like maybe consider subscribing uh, whether you do or not unfortunately guys I will be making more videos and I will be posting them so you're gonna this isn't the end 1.7.2 is the beginning the update that changed the world, to paraphrase Dinnerbone. Well guys, I'll see you in another life. Take care.